This is Dr. Hayek. In this video, I'm going to go over question seven from 2016 AP Chemistry exam in the free response part. Now the question says, a student is given a 25.0 milliliter sample of a solution of an unknown monoprotic acid and asked to determine the concentration of the acid by titration. The student uses a standardized solution of 0.110 molar sodium hydroxide, a burette, a flask, an appropriate indicator, and other laboratory equipment necessary for the titration. The first question is, the images below show the burette before the titration begins, which is the one to the left, at the end point, which is the one to the right. Now, what should the student record as the volume of an AOH delivered to the flask? Now, in order to answer this question, you will first need to look at the precision and the uncertainty of the burette. So the precision is represented by the smallest unit of the burette. Now, looking at the burette to the left, between five and six, and I can count 10 ticks. So the smallest unit would be one over 10, and therefore the smallest unit or the precision of the burette is equal to 0.1. Now, why do I need the precision? I need the precision to calculate the uncertainty, which is equal to the smallest unit divided by 10, and the uncertainty on this burette is equal to 0.01 molar. Now, looking at this number, I can see that the uncertainty has two decimal places. So the numbers that I need to record using this burette has to include two decimal places. So the answer should be 37.30 minus 5.65 equals to 31.65 milliliter. Now the 37.30 is the final volume and the 5.65 is the initial volume. So the student has to record 31.65 milliliter as the volume of sodium hydroxide delivered to the acid solution. Now let's take a look on the second question. It says, based on the given information and your answer to part A, determine the value of the concentration of the acid that should be recorded in the student's lab report. Now, we know that this is titration, and at the equivalence point, the number of mole of OH minus added is going to be equal to the number of mole of the H plus consumed, since the acid is monoprotic. Now, the number of mole of H plus can be calculated by the concentration or the molarity multiplied by volume, and in a similar way, we can find the number of mole of OH minus. So in this case, we can say that the molarity times volume for the acid equals the molarity times volume for the base. Now, we have the volume of the acid, that's 25.0 milliliter. The molarity of the base is given 0 0.110 molar, and the volume of the base, we just found it in part A. So now I can say the molarity of the acid is equal to molarity of the base multiplied by volume of the base divided by volume of the acid. Now replacing these terms by their values, I can get that the concentration of the acid is equal to 0.139 molar. Let's move on now to the last part in this question. It says in a second trial, the student accidentally added more NaOH to the flask then was needed to reach the end point, and then recorded the final volume. Would this error increase, decrease, or have no effect on the calculated acid concentration for the second trial? Justify your answer. Now, right away I can say that the error would increase the calculated acid concentration because adding a larger volume of sodium hydroxide will lead to an increase in the added number of mole of OH-. Since we assume that the number of mole of H plus in the solution is equal to the number of mole of OH- added, so the number of mole of H plus will be higher, and therefore the concentration or the calculated concentration of the acid will also be 
higher. So the answer is the error would increase the calculated acid concentration. Or we can take a look on it in a different way. As we did in the previous part, we said that the concentration of the acid is equal to the molarity of the base multiplied by the volume of the base divided by the volume of the acid. Now, as you can see, the volume of the base exists in the numerator of the expression of the molarity of the acid. So therefore, if the volume of the base increases, the calculated molarity will also increase. I hope this video is helpful to you, so please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.